Deputy Lorenzo, what is your current position with Dole? I am President and Chief Operating Officer of uh, Dole. Are you also associated with the Board of Directors? Yes, I'm on the Board of Directors. And what is your position on the Board of Directors? I'm uh, just a board member. In the past, have you been Vice Chair of the Board? Yes, I have. So you've held some of the highest positions there are in the company? Yes, I have. And you do today? Yes, I do. I've been trying cases for more than 30 years as a lawyer, and this is the first time I've had the president and chief executive officer of a significant corporation on the stand testifying live in front of a jury. It just doesn't happen very often. Mr. DiLorenzo, as the manager of the Nicaraguan division, did you know the amount of DBCP that was considered dangerous by the government? I probably maybe knew the, the statistics. I don't. I may not have recalled them. But basically, what we were told is, uh, if you could smell it, there was a, a kind of a dangerous level. You didn't want to be spending any time in a plantation that you could smell it. It's also unusual that that particular person was involved in supervising the workers in Nicaragua that were injured. So we had all these problems in Nicaragua, and despite them. He was promoted. Did you have a medical toxicologist that was employed by your firm at the time? No, I don't believe we did. We rely on the manufacturers who do work with the government in these issues, and they're specialists in this. Were you uh, aware of the fact that the government of the United States took the position that any contact of DBCP with the human skin could cause sperm damage? Yes, certainly after 1977 we did, yes. So, did you start a program to launder workers' clothing that was contaminated with DBCP? I don't think we started a program to, to launder workers' clothing. We, we did not believe or do not believe today that their workers were contaminated with DBCP because we did not believe that there was any DBCP in the farms that would contaminate them. Did it all disappear? Yes, it all gets drenched into the soil or evaporates. Mr. DiLorenzo, you got a report that 10 out of 10 workers checked in Costa Rica were sterile. And when you got that report in 1978, the Nicaraguan Division continued to use DBCP unchanged in 1978, 1979, and 1980. Correct? That's correct. We continued using uh, DBCP in both Honduras and Nicaragua following the uh, Costa Rican incident, and for, I think, very good reasons. As our people went out and talked to people, talked to the doctors, talked to the teachers, talked to the workers, I recall no report back that we had infertility any place, and that's what gave us a great deal of comfort about using, using the chemical. We had hours and hours and hours of hearings fighting over what portion of that film would be shown to the jury. They didn't like the shots that showed men walking without shoes, barefoot men walking through banana plantations. They didn't like the shots that show humans uh, being used as beasts of burden to pull bananas on a cable. Um, they didn't like the amount of water that's used, the puddles, the muddy conditions, which involves a greater potential for exposure to pesticides, because if the chemicals don't go into the ground, they're above the ground where human beings are.